Today we're designing lighthouses. An architect is an artist who draws houses and buildings. Architects plan out what a house or a building will look like before it is built. Lighthouses are a type of building that help boats and ships at sea find land during the nighttime or in a storm. Today we're going to be architects and we're going to design our very own lighthouse. For this first part of the project, you'll need pencils and erasers from the supply store. Mrs. Celeste will pass out a piece of paper, and the first thing that you should do, always, is put your name on the back. Now you will continue to use the pencils and erasers for your lighthouse. I'm using a Sharpie just because it's better to see on camera, so again, you'll be using the pencils, I'm just using the Sharpie for the video. I'm going to start by drawing the tower of my lighthouse. The tower of the lighthouse can be any kind of shape you want. Usually it's a cylinder shape or a long trapezoid kind of shape. That's what I'm doing for mine. You could do a rectangle too. Then draw the deck on top of the tower. The deck has rails so that people walking around don't fall off. The lantern room is the most important part of the lighthouse because that's the room where the light is. So don't forget to draw the light inside the lantern room. I'll also draw a roof on top of my lighthouse, the little lightning rod sticking up too. Now you can add details like a door, windows, you can do stripes or polka dots on your lighthouse. I'm going to do bricks on mine. And sometimes there's a little house attached to the lighthouse for the lighthouse keeper to stay in. So I'm also going to draw a little house next to my lighthouse. I'll put siding on it, a roof with shingles, a door, and a window above it. I'm the architect, I get to plan out how my lighthouse looks. I'll even put a chimney on top of my house too. For the next part, you'll need markers from the supply store. You will use the markers to color in your lighthouse. Again, you're the architect, so you get to pick the color that your lighthouse is going to be. A good tip for using markers is to put the cap of the marker on the back of it while you're using it so that you don't lose the cap. Color nice and neat and inside the lines. When you're an architect you have to be very careful and very precise about how your drawing looks so you can't do any scribbling. Even though I sped up the video, I'm coloring very slowly and carefully. Now when I picked out this yellow marker, take a look at it. Oh no, that means somebody colored this yellow over another color. So, if I test it out here, you can see now that it's turned green. That's not good. So just remember, never color with a light colored marker or any marker over another marker because they'll get mixed up. If that happens, you can just tell Mrs. Celeste and she'll grab you a new color. Do some light coming out of the lantern room there. Light in the windows. When you're all done, please make sure all the caps are back on your markers and they are back in the basket. Now you've drawn your very own lighthouse. <laughs> 